Greetings, Virgo, and thank you so much for being here, tuning into this reading. Let us take a look into the cards, what important messages you may need to know at this time. This reading is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Virgo. If the messages here do not resonate for you, kindly also check your other signs, okay? Thank you so much, and let's begin. Spirit Angels Universe, we ask for insights and guidance for the sign of Virgo. What do they need to know and need to be aware of at this time? What does Virgo need to know and need to be aware of at this time? All right, starting here with the Magician and the Two of Pentacles energy. The King of Wands. So I sense some kind of hesitation on your part, Virgo. Like you still haven't made your mind completely on some kind of situation or goal, perhaps. There's a desire with the magician to make something happen. There's a desire to manifest something. But there's also inner conflict with the two pentacles. And this might be a confidence issue. Like, can I really do it? Can I accomplish this? Am I ready? Am I good enough? So I sense that there's inner fluctuation here or emotional fluctuation. Then we have the Three of Cups, okay? Now, it might also speak about a specific relationship or friendship in your life. There is something that you want to manifest with this person, but you sense that the current situation is going back and forth. You may feel like you need to be more sure or that this person is in the same page with you. And I feel like communication is key, Magician and the Three of Cups having heart-to-heart -heart conversation, revealing your feelings for one another. Now, it could be your energy, but I sense shyness here, like someone is afraid to reveal how they truly feel because they're looking for assurance of some sort that the other party feels the same. So right now, they're keeping the current status quo unless they're 100% sure that they're ready or that the other person feels the same way. I see the element of friendship here or that it, it's possible that you and this person have been friends for a while. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. So this might be self-confidence or just fear of being left out in the cold. Somebody is afraid that once they reveal their feelings, everything is going to change. Um, it might be your energy or it might be the person that you're dealing with. They're afraid that this might change everything between you both. Somebody's afraid of risking it, is what I'm picking up. They feel like they need the support system as well, perhaps support of friends. They could be asking for advice from other friends, or you could be asking advice from your trusted people as well, Virgo. There might also be a tendency for this hot and cold behavior, okay? One moment they can be very passionate and give all attention, but the, the next they can be quite distant. There's like a um, on and off situation here. We have the Seven of Swords and the Four of Wands in the Chariot. So there might be this lack of trust as well. Like somebody is afraid of trusting. Somebody is afraid of being hurt. This could be what's holding them back from really revealing their true feelings towards the other person. So the Seven of Swords means um, not having the courage to face what they need to face. It what What this feels like, Virgo, is that someone is waiting to know if you have the same feelings for them before they admit how they truly feel. I keep getting that they want security, assurance, but also it's like they are not able to provide that. You know, it's rather confusing with the moon card. It, it almost feels like this person wants to you to, or to pursue them or chase them, wants you to be the one to make the bold move. Because here with the Seven of Swords, they're so afraid of facing their true feelings for you and acting on them. The Four of Wands and the Chariot. So in effect, I feel like you both are in this some kind of a gray area, somewhere in between. The Five of Pentacles does mean transition, you know, in between friendship and something more romantic. Somebody needs to overcome their fear, fear of being hurt, fear of letting people in, or learning to trust more. All right, because the chariot here also means 
motivation, determination, courage. It takes a lot of courage to pursue something and be bold. Take action. Bottom of the deck is the moon card, the two of swords. Yeah, so it's definitely fear-based thinking. Um, they're very protective of their feelings with the two of swords. You see the two of swords, the woman is covering her chest area. Somebody is so afraid. Um, and so the tendency here is to suppress how they feel or even deny how they feel. They're running away from it. And I feel that there's silence between you both right now with the king of swords. You might be feeling like somebody is keeping you in the dark as well, Virgo. You're trying to understand where this person is coming from. Because one moment they can be quite nice and warm towards you and loving towards you but the next are distant and detached leaving you feeling confused or you know being in the dark with the two of swords like what's going on with this person i thought things are going well but all of a sudden they disappear they isolate themselves or they don't return the messages um and you're left wondering what is going on so in effect you are finding it also difficult to trust this person back, you know, because of this on and off behavior, hot and cold behavior. The moon card means that there might be some shadow thoughts taking over, or it may indicate some kind of insecurity that's holding somebody back from really connecting with their higher self. This could be, you know, deeper realms of the subconscious, like the shadow thoughts and feelings we experience as humans, you know. It's important for someone to also release any past trauma or influences that are distorting their perception because they tend to overthink things too much with the Two of Swords or there's something distorting their perception. Okay. It's like they don't have a sense of clear direction. Some of you feel like, you know, it's always unpredictable with this person and they're not having clarity with you. What you want is clarity, stability uh, for someone to be straightforward with you. Some of you feel like this person might be hiding something with the Seven of Swords. Okay. Let's see. The King of Wands tells me that, yes, there is attraction here. That when you both are together, there is something special. You both feel that your connection is special, but you want to take things to the next level. But each and every time there's an attempt to take things to the next level, someone withdraws or pulls back, okay? It's like they go back to that um, wanting to play it safe, being so afraid, being fearful of the change. Let's see. We are going to be clarifying these messages. Spirit clarified the magician. So we have the Page of Pentacles. So there's so much to uncover is what I'm picking up. There's so much to learn to uncover about this person. I don't feel like they're very, um, they're the type of person that is very expressive. I feel like they're dealing with a lot within. This could be like emotional baggage or some kind of worry and fear. But they refuse to express this or share this and open up. But I feel like communication is key here with the Magician and the Page of Pentacles. Learning to be more open. I'm getting that somebody is coming across as quite introverted or shy. All right. Eight of Wands. So somebody could be coming out of their shell, finally. After so much contemplation, going back and forth, they're coming out of their shell. If there was some sort of misunderstanding, conflict, or argument in the past... This could be someone contemplating of sending you out a message, wanting to initiate communication with you after knowing that they have exhibited some hot and cold behavior towards you, Virgo. Eight of Wands is sudden exchange of messages. This might surprise you. You might not have expected to hear from this person, but they're going to be opening up something deep, okay? Something that they haven't revealed just yet, okay? So be prepared. This might be some kind of unexpected revelation about themselves. But it's going to help you have some kind of idea what they're really struggling with here. Why is the King of Wands here, please? We have the Tower. 
All right, so the tower means that somebody may have been sort of in their comfort zone. In effect, the energy has been stagnant. And so the tower means sudden movement. And this might even be like an explosive confession of some sort or dramatic change, okay? It almost feels like somebody has been butling their feelings, then all of a sudden they're going to reveal something and it feels like it's something unexpected and shocking, okay? This is like a, a dramatic revelation that's going to change everything. A lot of things will be uncovered. Some truths will be revealed. I don't want to say exposed, but something might be exposed to the surface, okay? Why is the Three of Cups here, please? We have the Moon. So that showed up twice. And the Moon card, once again, confusion. Feeling as though something is not what it seems. There is fear. The Moon card means uncertainty. Might be that, you know, someone is going to confront their fear. Someone is going to be honest with themselves and finally reveal what they're so afraid of, what they're, they've been keeping as a secret, what they've been hiding, what they're really struggling with in the dark. And they're going to be brought towards the light. Or for some of you, this might mean like you are going to find out some kind of harbored secret. Seven of Swords and the Moon card definitely is deception. The Tower means that if, th if this person doesn't take action, to change and, and, and really reveal whatever it is, is that they've been hiding and keeping. It could be their feelings or some kind of information. You know, the thing is, if they ignore this or pretend like it doesn't exist, the universe always finds a way to help expose this. You know, the tower can be something done by oneself or it can be a rampant chaos, meaning the universe. You know, what's cool about the universe and sometimes frustrating is that if we ignore these things, Universe always finds a way to reveal that, okay? Because it's meant to be revealed. It's not helping somebody or serving somebody out that they're keeping something in the dark. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? We have the Nine of Swords. So don't overthink the situation too much, um, Virgo. I feel like for some of you, if you pay close attention to your dreams, to your intuition, to your gut feeling, this is going to be some kind of confirmation with Nine of Swords, okay? But for those of you, this might come as quite a shock or a surprise, okay? I keep getting dramatic revelation. Um, you may have felt like someone didn't have feelings or wasn't going through something, but then they're going to open up and you're, you're going to realize, wow, I didn't know that what that is what you were going through or what you've been hiding all along, what you've been keeping all along as a secret this person could also be dealing with something psychologically with nine of swords like they have been too um entangled with some kind of worry and thought and they need somebody to talk to like finally vent or purge out of their system they may have been having a lot of sleepless nights all right so i'm also getting virgo that it might be guilt as well. Like somebody may be feeling guilty for keeping you in the dark, for being inconsistent. They may have been having a lot of sleepless nights and so they want to talk and reveal something to you. Or if they don't... Oh, wow. This is a mix of messages. Remember I said the tower? What's cool about the universe is that if we pretend that, that these things didn't exist. The universe is always going to find a way to orchestrate that dramatic revelation. And this might be guilty. You know, if someone doesn't take action now, they might feel regretful or guilty, you know, that this has been exposed by universe instead of them taking action to reveal whatever this is, okay? There, it's going to be by force or by some higher force. Force majeure. Then we have the two of wands. It almost feels like it's something they know they need to say. They need to be honest with once and for all. And it's a choice with the two of wands. They have a choice here. Whether to be the one to say it or universe is going to say it for them. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a wake-up call with the tower. There is a choice here. It's 
it's going to be controlled chaos or rampant chaos. Why is the Four of Wands energy here? We have the Ace of Swords. So the truth will set somebody free. This is also going to clear things up with you, Virgo. If they've been keeping you in the dark, if you've been having some kind of doubt, if you sense that someone is giving you mixed signals or being hot and cold towards you, communication, okay? Some kind of information will be available to you. Either universe is going to reveal this message or they're going to be coming towards you. you know, it depends on this person's decision. But this cannot be ignored with the Ace of Swords. It takes a lot of courage to tell the truth as well, even if it's uncomfortable. Even if somebody is afraid with the moon card. As cliche as it sounds, you know, it will set them free. The truth will set them free. Maybe they're afraid of how you're going to take it, how you're going to respond. Uh, somebody is afraid that you might reject them or you might not accept this. Or they're afraid of hurting you with the truth as well. Ace of Swords. It's a double-edged sword. Why is the chariot here, please? Clarify the chariot. And we have the seven of wands. But, you know, it needs to be said. They need to be, you know, strong. It takes a lot of strength to say the truth. This is willpower. Knowing that they are on the right path. That this is the right thing to do. I keep getting this is the right thing to do. Somebody already knows that this is the right decision to make. But if they delay this and ignore this, this universe is going to reveal that to uh, whoever is concerned. And it's also not helping that they've been having a lot of sleepless nights and worrying, being afraid that this, is, this truth is going to come out to the open. I also am getting that's inevitable. You know, the more they fight this off, the more that somebody resists telling the truth, all right, the more that universe is going to, you know, throw at some kind of an event that will reveal everything. Right? The tower means situation which mind, body, and spirit are not working in harmony due to passive and healthy choices, rigid thinking. You know, it may feel like a breaking point, but sometimes we need to allow some breakthroughs in our consciousness. And this is going to encourage someone to examine old patterns or systems of belief that is going to be transformational in the long run. Liberation comes from letting go, right? Without the dark, there is no light. So somebody needs to reveal certain things to the light that may have been kept in the dark, okay? So let me just pull an advice card. Please take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't for you, Virgo. But the overall message that I'm picking up here, there's a truth that needs to be revealed as to why someone may be behaving some type of way. If they don't face it, if they pretend that it's not important, you know, universe is going to orchestrate this tower moment. And it's like they have no other choice. It's going to be more of a rampant chaos. But if they do decide to take action now, which they know deep down, they need to do, they need to face, okay? That is kind of like a controlled chaos. And it's also going to set them free from the state. Nine of Swords. Might be guilt, sleepless nights, anxiety. What is your advice for Virgo at this time, Spirit? What is your advice for Virgo at this time? All right, this card over here. And it says the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits soul tribe let me read what this card is saying as advice all right give me a second you are being called to let your intuition move you physically you are connected to a group of souls who are weaving a web around the planet. And as you travel and share your creation, something is rethreaded. This card is an acknowledgement that you are either being called to connect with others who are like you at a soul level or that you already are. You're being called to gather groups of people, either by leading them or becoming a part of a group that can support you and your soul's personal mission. 
You are a part of a group of souls who agreed to be here at this time in history to heal yourself, your ancestral line, and the planet, to raise consciousness so that we can continue to call this magnificent place home for years to come, one of many consciously choosing to devote your life to something greater than yourself. It is time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. When you share what is real and true to you, you share the medicine that you most need. Those who are like you will gather around you. You are your tribe. They are just like you. And just as you are longing and searching for them, they are longing and searching for you too. Wow. So that is a very deep message for you, Virgo. I hope that the messages resonate. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.